Hi, I'm Sophie Eleanor, typographer, graphic designer, and all-round type dog. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through a few simple techniques for creating engaging and editable typographic animations using After Effects. The first thing we're gonna dive into is the mask path feature, which allows you to animate type along a path. I'll start by creating a new text layer. With that layer selected, switch over to the pen tool. I'm just freehand drawing a curved line over the top of my text. This next bit is where the magic happens. Twirl down your text layer and in the path options drop down, assign mask one. Our text snaps onto the curved line we just drew and a heap of path options become available. The main property I wanna edit is first margin. I want the text to pause in the center. So I'm gonna duplicate that middle keyframe and then I'll highlight all my keyframes and add easy ease. You can see how that instead of a uniform linear speed, I'm creating an S-shaped curve, which is slow at the start and finish and faster in the middle. I've now got a much more aesthetically pleasing movement. To make that movement even more believable, I'm gonna add some extra keyframes so that the text overshoots a little and then bounces back to the center. Now that I'm happy with that animation, I can really go to town on this. I can duplicate this layer a bunch of times and now I've got a supercharged stack of mask path animations peeling off the page. After some more keyframe tinkering, the last flourish I wanna add here is a cheeky text animator to change the color. I'll go into more detail on text animators shortly, but to me, the real beauty of them is the offset property. By keyframing the offset, we can stagger our animation, in this case, the color change, letter by letter. The other beautiful thing is that all of the text remains completely editable. So if you decide to go from upper to lowercase, it's a super easy fix. Let's wade a little further into text animator territory, which is a whole world of different ways to make editable kinetic type. I'm going to create two new text layers. I'll start with the word text and I'll apply the scale text animator. By default, the scale is set to 100%, but I want to animate this going from 0 to 100. So I'm going to change the scale to 0. If you're used to working with illustrations, text animators operate quite differently to the usual transform properties. Here, we're not keyframe animating the scale property itself, but rather the parameters around how the property is applied. If we change the offset values, you can see that the scale is being applied to the text even though there aren't any keyframes on the scale itself. I'll set a keyframe on the offset at 100%, that's where I want the animation to finish. And then I'll go earlier and drop another offset keyframe at zero. So my letters scale up one at a time. If I dig into the advanced dropdown, this is where you can really finesse it. It's a little tricky to wrap your head around, but shape is more of a reference to the speed and order in which things are animating. By default, it's set to square, which looks like one letter at a time completing the full defined movement before the next letter begins. I've found ramp up and ramp down to be the most useful presets because I often want an overlapping cascade effect and these presets emulate that. Once I've set my shape to ramp up and adjusted my first keyframe to minus 100, the final polish involves playing around with the ease settings. Now I'm gonna quickly apply a position text animator to the word animator. I'm using essentially the same workflow as before. I'm not putting keyframes on the position. I'm simply shifting the coordinates. The thing I do want to keyframe is the offset property. I'll change the shape to ramp up, then add some ease. I can't emphasize enough how important adding ease to your animations is. It just makes everything so much smoother and more polished. If you got this far in and needed to change the wording, the text is still editable. In that way, working with text animators is a really lossless, efficient process. Just to flesh it out, I'm gonna add a second scale text animator underneath the one I just created. And I'm just gonna nudge the text down a few pixels. The last technique I wanna to touch on, which is actually a huge library of techniques, is adding distortion effects to your text. One of my favorites is the ripple effect, which you can search for in the effects and presets panel. All you have to do is drag the effect onto the relevant layer. At first, it doesn't look like much has happened, but when you twirl down into the layer menu, we now have a bunch of new controls. There are countless other distortion effects to play with built into After Effects. 
Now I'm combining all the separate animations I just created into one composition. There's a fair bit of resizing and rearranging to do, but all together I've now got a really dynamic, interesting and editable layout with lots happening. Jump in, give it a go and see what you can create. I'm Sophie Eleanor and I hope you have some fun making moving words.